My grandmother was that. Oh. Let me tell you another story of uh, a, a near disaster. When Susan saw her husband, Stephen, spinning out of control, dropping 2,000 feet during a hang gliding competition, she thought that this could be the end of him. You're on the ground watching. You were actually videotaping. Yeah, I was. At, I had a video camera in front of me, and I saw, we don't call it an accident because Steve didn't get hurt. We call it a tumble. And um, the difference between Steve and some of these other experiences is that he's a practiced sportsman in hang gliding, and aerobatics is the extreme of hang gliding, and he's practiced in that as well. Steve, when you do aerobatics, you have the, um, the smoke trailing off the glider so that people can appreciate the maneuvers? Yeah, so the judges in the competition, they can see the glider running, doing loops or wing overs. And that's what you were doing when you had your accident? Right. Okay, let's see that tape. Oh, it's a tail slide. No. Wow. Yeah, he flipped it. He tumbled. I told you it was a tail slide. Yep. I spoke it he was way too oh, slow. He dropped. You Something should... fell off. He's Woo! got it. He's got it. He's still spinning. Get your oh. shoot out, dude. Throw your shoot. Ooh. Hit the sail. I told you he was going slow. And you said that was a good wing on her. I was going to say, look at it. He's got it almost stable. Oh, oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. That scream is because the chute finally came out. Huey was slow. You were dangerously close to the ground before that chute opened. He's in the spins. Now, who is this, a PAL videotaping? I don't think so. Well, um, yeah, somebody in the ground. We'll, pre we'll actually prepare for this. The area we're doing the aerobatics is a clear area. I'm on the side of it right now. And you can see how nice the parachute gets me down. Well, finally, but there were some people down there scared enough to be shouting some expletives. Well, they don't really understand exactly how the whole thing works out. I don't understand uh, that either, because it looked to me like you were tumbling pretty fast. Um, hang landing aerobatics is an extreme of hang landing. Regular hang landing is very safe today. Um, we, have, we carry a rescue parachutes. What happened there was the first parachute I was carrying didn't work. The first, because I heard them yelling, pull your chute. Right. So and there are two reserve chutes. Two reserve parachutes. And right. the first one was defective. Yeah, was defective. Well, what if you'd only had the one? You wouldn't be here today, right? Um, a lot of people, they die from that, but a lot of people also got saved because they land on trees, and trees, they're very soft, but... Susan, this must drive you nuts. Do you want him to stop this? No. I really, I think that... It's so much a part of him. It's, um, you know, the kind of quest for freedom is a part of his personality. And I think that you, I would not want anybody to tell me what I can and cannot do in my life. And I don't feel like I can impose on anybody else what they yeah, can and can't yeah. do. Well, it is a beautiful sport. I did a tandem hang gliding jump in Rio. And I was with this Portuguese, this guy who spoke Portuguese. And we were side by side and we had our helmets. And um, all I could remember was, we, couldn't, we didn't speak the same language, and all I could remember is he said, when you go to the end of the cliff, just don't stop. You have to keep right, running. Right, right. And there was so much turbulence, and our helmets were knocking up against each other, and I said, are we going to crash? And he looked at me and said, yes, crash. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. It was great, but it is the most exhilarating thing. I totally get the thrill. Today it's very safe. You know, some people more should do it, uh, except uh, aerobatics. It's the extreme. But be prepared. Glad you're okay. When we come back, we're going to talk with this skier. who.